In this video, we're going to learn how to find the sum and average of each column in a 2D array using C. The first thing we'll do is define preprocessor constants for the number of rows and columns in our 2D array. Here we'll have number define rows 5 and number define columns 5. So we can use these preprocessor constants to declare our 2D array and then to work with it. So next we'll declare our 2D array. Here we'll have float array rows and columns. So this here will declare a 2D array of floats with rows, number of rows, and columns, number of columns. So we'll have a five by five 2D array. Next we can initialize the 2D array. So here we'll have is equal to, and then one, two, three, four, five, and we'll have one, two, three, four, five, followed by one, 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 and then two, 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 and three, 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 three. So this will initialize all the elements in our 2D array. Now to find the sum and the average of the elements in a column of our 2D array, what we need to do is add together the elements stored at each row in that column. So for this column here, we would need to add together these elements here. Then we can find the average by dividing the sum by the number of rows. Now we want to find the sum and the average of each column in our 2D array. So we'll start off with an outer loop that's gonna have a counter variable, go from zero by one up until the last column index. So here we'll have four int i is equal to zero, i is less than columns, and then i plus plus. So this loop here is going to use the counter variable i to go over each column index. So we can look at each column. Now for each column index, we want to look at each row index so we can add them together. So next, we'll make an inner loop with another counter variable that's going to go over each row index. So next we'll have for int j is equal to zero, j is less than rows, j plus plus. So this inner loop is now going to go over each row index. Next, we'll declare a variable to store the sum of the elements in each column. We'll have here float sum is equal to zero. Then here, in this inner loop, we'll add each element at each row, j, to the sum for the given column, i. So what we're doing here is for a column i, we're adding the element at each row to the sum. So by the end of this loop here, we'll have calculated the sum of the elements in this column here at the index i. We could now output the column and the sum. We could have here printf column percent %d sum is equal to percent %f backslash n. And then here we'll have i to output the column index i and then sum to output the sum. Now, one important thing we need to do is reset the sum to zero with each iteration of the outer loop. So here, we'll have sum is equal to zero to reset sum to zero before adding together the elements in that column. So we can save, compile, and run our program. And now we can see we're calculating the correct sum for each column. Here we have column zero has a sum of eight, and that's correct because one plus one plus one plus two plus three is eight. Next, let's calculate the average. We'll declare a variable of type float to store the average. We'll call it average. Then down here, we'll calculate the average with average is equal to sum divided by the number of rows. So dividing the sum of the elements in a column by the number of elements in a column as given by rows will give us the average. We could then output the average. Here we'll have printf column percent %d average is equal to percent %f backslash n backslash n for two new lines. Then we'll have i and average. Now if we save, compile, and run our program, we can see that we are calculating the average correctly because here we have a sum of 16 
and with five rows, we get an average of 3.2, which is correct because 16 divided by five is 3.2. So this is how we can find the sum and average of each column in a 2D array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.